Hello viewers. So we're finally making some positive progress with this server computer. Right now it's just installing some patches for whatever they're worth. And this is where it's going to reside, over here in the computer room, next to this particular desk. And I have these two drives on there for now just because I don't have enough storage on the internal one, so at least that's usable for now. And then I've ordered a new uh, a 3 terabyte internal one, so I have a total of 4 terabytes. And that should be enough for a while. So we'll have that in there. And then I'm going to set up this UPS over here as well, so that it'll be connected to that. And it's working pretty well. I've done some file transfers to and from the existing internal drive and it was going at about 11 megabits or megabytes rather per second and that's good enough to stream the video high definition video so really that's the most intensive thing I'd ever do on here so it looks like it should work perfectly fine for what I wanted now I've done and shared file transfer between computer to computer on my network before and typically 11, 12, 10, somewhere right in that range is about as fast as it ever goes. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a limitation of the networking equipment, you know, the router and the switches, or if that's just how fast it's going to go. Either way, I have, <coughs> excuse me, I have purchased a new router. I've had this router for ages, and it's recently started to hang up every now and again. I, for a while I had it uh, set up on a timer and so it would cut off at like 11 o'clock at night and then it would be off until 5 o'clock the next day when I got home from work and those short usage runs, you know, from 5 o'clock to 11 o'clock were usually okay and it would work for that period of time but without causing a problem but then uh, more recently, I had to use the timer somewhere else, and so I've just had it plugged in here, and I'm back to the same problem where after a couple of days, it just slows to an unusable crawl and refuses to work. So, as much as I like these routers and think they're a fantastic model, very reliable, very powerful, they don't make them anymore, and I can't get another one. Um, well, I could, but the amount of tag cells and everything I'd have to go to to try to find one would be ridiculous. So, I, I, as much as I didn't want to, I finally caved and bought a new router. It's a TP-Link router, and uh, it's very highly rated on Amazon. It, it's nothing exotic, uh, but when that comes in, we'll have that. The switches I have are relatively new. I, I can't see them, but it's, it's over there. Uh, there's one in here, and there's one downstairs. I believe they're both TP-Link also, they're 10 100s and that's what the router is going to be, a 10 100 Ethernet. So we'll see how, how well it works. The wireless on this is pretty slow, so I'm hoping the wireless will be a little bit faster for, for the file transfers because I can stream a video playing on the Ethernet but it won't stream over the Wi-Fi. So that's got to get a little bit faster, hopefully the new router will work. Actually, what we're going to do with the, with the new equipment, I'm going to take the router, the phone modem, and the ringer, and we're going to put all that stuff in the closet in the bedroom. So let's go in there and, and just take a look at that real quick. I haven't got it set up, but I think what I'm going to do is, because I have, I have power, AC power right there, telephone right there, and this wall, this closet's a mess, but, well, I can't, you can't even see it, but behind the mount of clothes, th this wall is the other side of the computer room. So there's a hole in this wall, and of course you can't see it. It's down below there somewhere, and that passes through, ouch, that passes through over into this room where the phone jack is and you can see that ethernet cable there is actually the one that's currently passing through there into the bedroom to power the bedroom computer so it's fairly convenient to put the router 
and the telephone boxes probably going to mount them right on this wall so they'll be out of the way and um, yeah that's really the only reason I would do that because as you can see in here the wires under here is just deplorable and I mean look at that mess oh my goodness and it was even worse when all this stuff I just pulled this out a couple hours ago so it was even worse than it is now earlier today so this has just got to go I mean this is terrible awful terrible 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 so that's going to go if I get rid of the 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 router the phone box and then the, the ringer box I think the the uh, internet modem is probably just going to stay there because I don't have any long coaxial cables and the, the coax thing is right there so that's just whatever but um, yeah we're going to clean all this up and hopefully make this more presentable because this is terrible but anyways as it is uh, as we're standing right now this is progressing nicely and we got two days for my Amazon order to come in of the internal hard drives for that and the new router so hopefully by the end of the week this will be relatively up and running I don't have a much better networking situation to use